Hey all. I have a cool little project I've been working on uh, with MIDI guitars and uh, learning how to program MIDI and, and write little apps for it. Um, so I have a, a Fishman Triple Play uh, Connect here. It's a little USB uh, Triple Play uh, MIDI guitar that uh, has its own MIDI pickup right here, this little hexaphonic deal here. And what's cool about it is that each string gets its own channel. So it can detect uh, the pitch and the string. So I wrote a little program here that uh, once you've connected the triple play, it will recognize the MIDI and send it uh, to a little um, program I wrote uh, that uh, runs uh, as a little web page. And if you can send a multi-channel MIDI to it, it will be able to recognize the notes that I play. So you can see over here on my little uh, fretboard mini visualization, uh, you know, simple fretboard. And you know, this is pure, you know, uh, beta here. So it recognizes single notes. So here I am playing an A. You can see it's recognizing an A. Um, and it'll keep going at the, uh, for as long as I play the note. And, um, it shows a darker blue the, the higher the velocity is. Oh, I hit two of them. So it's polyphonic. So here's a D and it shows the notes to it here, D, A, D. Um, what I did is I uh, hooked up a little uh, expression pedal or it's a Donner piano pe pedal. It's basically on and off. So when I press it, it holds the notes and locks it down. So if I hit this D chord here, this little D triad, uh, it's locked it here and it shows the notes uh, starting from the bass note on up. So this is a, uh, you know, a D chord here. Um, and, uh, you know, I can do another D chord up here and it, you know, overlays it. Kind of cool, huh? If I release the pedal, it disappears. Um, or I can hold it down and I can, you know, do a, um, uh, a scale. So, you know, this is the A major scale here. And it's, uh, it's kind of frozen there so that uh, you can see the, the notes that have been played on it and uh, the pattern. So what I'm envisioning this app is, uh, say that you're wanting to write down chord positions really quickly and make a you know a little uh, chord chart for it, well or a scale chart. Eventually I'll have this so that once I freeze it, I can press a save button and it'll generate a, an automatic uh, chart that can be put into YouTube videos or or sent to people. Um, you know you can do any any chord you want really. So there's that little uh, bit right there, or the full thing. And then I can go click, and that particular chart will be ready. Uh, I also plan on, on being able to have it take a guess at to what the chord is, but that's a, a little bit more involved because, you know, which is the bass note that you're going to choose, uh, you know. Also, uh, and harmonics uh, equivalents, I have to figure out how it's going to, it's a lot of work to try to get it to uh, figure out how to name chords. Uh, you know, because for a triad, there's, you know, two different, or, you know, three inversions of it. There's the root, first, and second inversions. And that means that with three potential root notes, you have three potential chord names. Um, and then if you do rootless voicings, how do you, how do you define it? So there's a lot to think about. And, I'm not sure I'll, I'll actually do it, but it's, it's still kind of fun here, you know, for instance, you know. Yeah. So you can say, okay, and I can think of a, like a note playing game where it like pops up on the screen and says, you know, find all the A's and then you would just go, you know, okay. You know, just work your way up and see if you got it. So. Anyways, I just kind of wanted to show it to you. It's a little thing I, I worked on this evening here. 
tracks pretty well. It has a little trouble with hammer-ons. Uh, but that's just a... Uh, uh, a MIDI thing where I have to get the uh, sensitivity set right for it. And that's a triple play setting. But the triple play native software uh, handles these sorts of things a lot better. Uh, you can see it right here that if I go like... You can see the hammer on. Just something I have to work on, but not bad for a first try. Anyways, have a good one.